I'm Shilpa Shadi Kundra and this is The Art of Balance. Sit on the floor. Bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet together. Hold your feet with both your hands. Shift your hips forward to bring your heels as close to your body as possible. Lift your knees up and deliberately push down, using your elbows as levels to press your inner thigh down. Try to touch your knees to the ground on the downward stroke. Practice 30 to 50 up and down movements. Do not use any force while pressing your knees down. Completely relax your inner thigh muscles. Visualize the movement as fluttering of a butterfly's wings. Get into a quadruped position. Your knees may be together or slightly separated. This is the starting position. Inhale and raise your head and arch your spine so that the mid and lower back sink towards the floor. Expand your abdomen fully and fill the lungs with the maximum amount of air. Exhale while taking the chin in. Push the mid and lower back upward and tug the tailbone inwards at the end of the exhalation. Contract the apps. Breathe normally. Come back to starting position and relax. Lie down on your stomach. Make sure your feet are together with the tours against the floor. Place your arms underneath the shoulders. Now placing your body's weight on your palms inhale and raise your head and trunk. Arch your back and make sure your shoulders are away from your ears. Think of growing taller from the neck, shoulders and spine. Keep navel pulled into the spine to support your lower back. Inhale slowly, bring down your body, rest your chin on the ground, then forehead touching the ground, and relax. Lie on your back, keep your legs abducted. 
Bend your knees and keep both your feet flat on the mat directly in front of the buttocks. Interlock the fingers of both your hands and place the palms behind your head. Exhale. Slowly twist from the left to the right, trying to bring your knees down to the floor. At the same time, gently turn the head and neck in the direction opposite to the legs. This will give a uniform twisting stretch to the entire spine. Hold your breath in the final position while mentally counting for 3 seconds. Inhale and raise both your legs to the starting position. Repeat on the left side to complete one round. Practice 5 complete rounds. The feet should remain in contact with each other, although your left foot will move slightly off the floor. Visualize twisting your entire body from the spine. Do not tense your neck or shoulders while holding the breath for three counts. Keep your knees and feet together throughout the practice. Keep your shoulders and elbows on the floor throughout. Exhale to twist to the side. and inhale to return to the center. Padmasana with your spine erect and shoulders relaxed. Carefully bend backward, supporting your body with the arms and elbows. Lift the chest towards the ceiling. Take your head back and lower the crown of your head to the floor. Hold your big toes and rest your elbows on the floor, but do not pull. Adjust the position of your head so that the maximum arch in the mid-back is attained without straining your neck. Do not sink into your neck or shoulder blades. Sit on the floor with your legs outstretched, feet together, keeping your spine straight. Bend your right leg and place the right foot flat on the floor. Cross your right foot over the left knee. Bend your left leg and bring the foot around to the right butt again. 
Inhale and raise your left hand up and length in the side of the body and then cross it over your right knee and place the left tricep against the outside of your right leg. Hold your right foot or ankle with your left hand so that the right knee is close to your left armpit. Sit up as straight as possible using your core muscles. Raise your right arm and wrap it around your waist from the back. Slowly twist your right, simultaneously moving the arm, trunk, and head. Do not strain the back. Use your co-muscles to maintain a tall posture of the spine. Release your right hand, left hand, and then your right leg and left leg. Repeat the same movement with your left side. Shoulders must be away from the ears and neck long. With every exhalation you can deepen the twist. Both cheeks must be on the floor. Do not lean sideways, but twist within your access. If you cannot hold the outside of the left leg after twisting, just keep the bent right elbow and tricep outside the thigh to hold the twist. Slowly build range with practice. If you cannot wrap the left arm around the waist from the back, place the palm behind the left hip on the floor for support and height. Use your co-muscles to maintain a tall posture of the spine. With every exhalation you can deepen the twist. Both, but cheeks must be on the floor. Yay, and there is good news. We are halfway there. Stay positive, determined and committed to your health goal and get the most out of this wonderful body. Sit tall in Vajrasana, placing the palms on the thighs just above the knees. Keep shoulders stacked above the hips and do not lean forward. Inhale, raise the arms overhead shoulder with apart and elbow straight. Exhale and bend forward from the hips. Torso relaxes on the thighs, palms face upwards, and one side of your cheek is on the mat. Inhale and roll the spine up back to starting position. Try to relax with every breath. Do not tense the neck or shoulders. Feel the lower back relax.
Keep a pillow between the hips and the heels if there is a big gap between them. There should be no discomfort in the knee or ankles. Lie flat on the back with your arms comfortably away from your body, palms facing upward. A thin pillow of folded cloth may be placed under the head to prevent discomfort. Let the fingers curl up naturally, move your feet slightly apart to a comfortable position and close your eyes. Release all the stress from your muscles and relax. Feel the relaxation. Focus on your muscles. Relax your toes, heels, ankles, your shin, your curves. Your knees back side of your thighs, front side of your thighs. Relax your hips, relax your abdomen, your root chakra, the base of your spine, mid-back, your stomach, your upper back, your upper chest, shoulders, arms, your elbows, your forearms, your wrist, your fingers and your palms. Relax your neck muscles, your face, your chin, cheeks, lips, your nose, your ears, your eyes, and your forehead. And now relax your mind. Leave all your thoughts, leave all your worries and feel the relaxation. Sit comfortably with your spine erect, close your eyes and breathe deeply. Gently close your ear lists with your index finger. Take a deep breath in and as you breathe out, make a loud humming sound like a bee. At the end of exhalation, breathing deeply and repeat the process.
Come back to the starting position. Sit in any comfortable meditation posture, preferably Padmasana. Those who cannot sit in a meditation posture may sit against the wall with the legs outstretched or in a chair which has a straight back. Keep the head and spine upright. Relax your whole body and close your eyes. Your hands should be in the nose strip position. Hold the fingers of the right hand in front of the face. Rest the index and middle fingers gently on the eyebrow center. Both fingers should be relaxed. The thumb is above the right nostril and the ring finger above the left. These two digits control the flow of breath in the nostrils by alternately pressing on one nostril, blocking the flow of breath and then the other. Close the right nostril with the thumb and breathing through the left nostril. Do not strain. Close the left nostril with the ring finger. Release the pressure of the thumb on the right nostril and the time for inhalation and exhalation should be equal. Inhale through the right nostril, keeping the same count. At the end of inhalation, Close the right nostril, open the left nostril and exhale through the left nostril. this helped you achieve your peace of mind it's time for me to sign off don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel tab tak ke liye swasth raho mast raho